All right, let's talk about something that's quietly changing the way we live, work, and prove who we are, digital ID. Now I know what you're thinking. Wait, isn't my driver's license already digital? Or don't I already use my face to unlock my phone? Well, yes and no. Digital ID goes way beyond just a photo on your phone or a password you remember. It's about having a secure, government-backed way to prove your identity online, just like you do in person. Imagine this. You want to open a bank account, rent an apartment, sign up for a new streaming service. Right now, you're probably uploading scans of your passport, typing in your social security number, and just hoping the website is legit and your info is safe. With Digital ID, you'd have a single, secure way to verify yourself online. No more sending sensitive documents over email or worrying about identity theft. Your government or an official provider gives you a digital version of your ID. Think of it like an app or a secure profile on your phone. When a website or a business needs to check who you are, you just use your digital ID. It sends only the info that's needed and nothing more. Need to prove you're over 18? The system just confirms that, without sharing your full birth date or address. It's all about privacy and control. But let's be real. There are some concerns. People worry about privacy, governments or companies tracking them, and what happens if their digital ID gets hacked. That's why these systems are being designed with security in mind. Encryption, biometrics, blockchain to keep your data safe and in your hands. Plus, most places are making it optional, at least for now. You can still use your old-school ID if you want. Countries like Estonia and Denmark are already way ahead with digital ID. People there use it to vote, pay taxes, access healthcare, all online, all securely. The UK is rolling out its own version, and other countries are watching closely. It's not about replacing your passport or driver's license, but about making your life easier and safer online. So, is digital ID the future? Honestly, it's already here for a lot of people. As more of our lives move online, the big question is, are you ready to trust your identity to the digital world?